Hey YouTube, welcome back, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Brian Todd and I'm a magician too, but today we're doing a reaction video. If you didn't see two of my previous reaction videos, I'll link up them up somewhere here and then you just go and watch them and you come back to this one. Or you can finish off this one and then go back to those. But either way, I'm fine. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribe last time when i was doing a reaction video some of y'all were like dude we know nothing about the show so give us a background what's happening give us like the basis of the show what's the show about so i said yes i'll do that i'll give what my followers want i'll give them what they want so here's what the show is about right so the show is a, it's a television series right whereby it's a show where magicians around the world they come to the show to perform their best tricks to try and fool Penn and Teller and Penn and Teller's job is to try and figure out how the trick was done if they fail to do it they will give he or she the trophy that's written fool us right and then that person will actually have a spot in their show in Las Vegas whereby he or she will perform as an opening act and that's the basis of the show so without any further ado guys today we are reacting to Cash on Penn and Teller Fool Us guys let's hope Cash is going to be performing some money magic because why would they call him Cash if he can't produce some cash but without any waste of time let's get to it Magician fools Penn and Teller. They walk off, fool us trophy in hand, and then they get to come back and perform in Penn and Teller's world famous magic show. So let's meet tonight's first magician. Hey, I'm Kashawn Wallace, aka Cash Magic. I'm from Warren, Ohio. I was pretty shy and reserved as a kid. Magic was there in the beginning, but I really appreciate my mom for putting me into all of the artistic things, so like acting, modeling, band, to help me figure out my path. Guys, I can relate to what Kesh is saying, because most magicians, myself included, we start as these shy kids that we can speak with anyone or most people and then once we get into magic, we become like we can become communicative, right? We can communicate with almost everyone because now we have something to show them. We can have something to talk about with them. It doesn't have to be magic, but we have something interesting to show them, right? But yeah, I can relate. I always say anything you put your mind to, you're capable of achieving. You just gotta believe it's possible. I feel like my life is a living example of that. Like, I've had some great moments in my magic career, but I've also had some slip-ups in life and magic. I would say I've come close to big time, but I haven't made it there just yet. Tonight is my chance to show the world what I'm capable of, and I'm gonna crush this. All the way from Ohio, please welcome the magic of cash. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I'm going to be doing a classic in card magic, one that most, if not all, magicians know. Can I say this first? Uh, from how he's dressed, I think he's more of a street performer or a street magician than a stage performer, right? You can see his dressed symbol, has his uh, deck of cards, and he's not destructive, right? Because he needs all your attention and another thing as he says a classic that most magician knows i think of a ambitious card routine right i've done a lot of those i've watched a lot of those i've performed a lot of them so i know an ambitious card routine so if he's going to perform an ambitious card routine i don't think he's going to full pen and teller because they also seen hundreds if not thousands of them so yeah, without any further ado, let's see what Cash has for us. So, I'm doing this to challenge... Oh, by the way, an ambitious card routine, it's a routine whereby now a card keeps is put in the middle of the deck and keeps on jumping on to the top 
or to the bottom or wherever you want it to jump to. But yeah, that's an ambitious cut routine. Myself, because if I want to fool two of the most knowledgeable magicians, I have to put the cash spin on it. First, we're going to need a card randomly selected from the pack. Okay. Okay. How we're going to do that is I'm going to go through the deck like this, eliminating cards like this, and you're just going to stop me somewhere along the way. Okay. okay? So let's go. Stop. Here. You want this card? Yes. I want you to go ahead and look at the card you've picked and show the audience as I look away so I don't see anything. Yep. And remember it. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to have you place that in my hand face down. Now you just remember your card. I'll place the card into the pack. I'm not going to push it in all the way yet because right now we can assume we know where the card is. Right? Mm -hmm. But if we just wait, I want you to imagine your card rising through the pack one card at a time until it hits the top of the deck. Okay, ready? I have faith in you. You've done that? Yes. Let's see how we did. Amazing. The king of spades? Yes. Yay. As I said, guys, I told you that he's going to be performing an ambitious cut routine if, if he says a classic that all magicians know. And by the way, I like the fact that he's doing it mostly hands off and he he's including Brooke or Brooke, yeah, is Brooke into the performance. Like it doesn't matter the name of the spectator, but he's including the spectator into the performance by her thinking of uh, the cut jumping to the top. So yeah, I like that part. By the way, I'm disappointed that he's not performing Money Magic because his name is Cash. Good job, good job. Thank you. We're connected. Yes, we are. That, that's the first phase. Okay. So, I know there may still be some skeptics out there. So, just to make this a little more, uh, just to make this a little more, uh, you know what I'm trying to get. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> Dramatic. Yes. Mind I'm blowing. Gonna, I'm going to have you sign the card right okay. here so we can confirm it's the same card from start to finish. Got it. Okay, here we go, signing my name, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful signature. Great cash. Thank you. This is now a unique one-of-one one card. There's no other card like it in the world. Okay. So we're gonna take your card and do just as before. I'll place it sticking out. Okay. And this time I don't even wanna do the actions. I want you to go ahead and push the card in. Okay, like this? Yes. <laughs> okay. And then square all the cards up. All right. Perfect, okay. And just as before, do the same thing, imagining the card rising up one at a time until it hits the top. Ready? Yep. You done that? Yes. I'll have you check it out. Yes. No? Yes, no. I'm getting nervous. Did it work? Wow. And it worked. We did it. Gosh. Amazing. Amazing. What? Thank you. You're, you're doing great. You're doing great. Um, so, there may still be some skeptics out here about how this is working. So, we're going to up the stakes. I'm going to be completely transparent. We're going to put the card in the opposite direction this time. Okay. So you can see. Yep. All right. And I'll even show you the face of it so that you can see here as well. Yep. And I'm going to have you push it in. So we see it go in with the, the signature on it. Go Just ahead. like that, you ready? Boom. Okay. And I'll show you from the back one last time. Yep. And no, no, it's a, it, it is pretty intense. We're gonna do one last thing to keep this a little interesting. This is the most intense part, putting the cards into the box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding. The cards are inside of the box now. Okay. There's no way sleight of hand can happen here. Mm -hmm. It's all inside the box. I'm gonna have you hold your hand out. Okay, perfect. And just like before, you're gonna imagine your card moving, but it won't go to the top. Let's imagine it going to the bottom. You think I can do that? I think you can, you're doing good. I want you to imagine the card getting heavier and heavier. Okay. And it starts sinking through the box. Okay. I want you to imagine the card now going to the outside of the box in your hand. Okay. Have you done that? 
Yes. If everything has worked, that card should be right here. Seems as if it didn't work. But it did. I just left out one little thing. Your card is actually right here underneath the cellophane. It just stopped under no that. Way. What? Oh my gosh. Wow, Cash. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was all broke. No, Look. I'm just following directions up here. I'll have you go ahead and take the card out. Really okay. make sure it's under the cellophane and I'm not just yep, faking it. Yeah, really that. was under the cellophane. This is my card. Wow. Now, honestly, I could stop here. I could stop here. But there may still be some skeptics. By the way, guys, I thought it's the ending, right? So, when he's carrying on by him saying skeptics, oh, by the way, I think he revealed the method by him saying this is the most intense part, putting the cards in the card box because it reveals this part of the routine, right? But we're not there. We are not revealing anything. And again, him saying a cash spin, I thought of a, a flap, right? Because a flap flips. I think he's using some flaps, but I think he's going to still use some. But let's see, because he said a cash spin. I don't think that's the spin because I've seen uh, this kind of a routine before. So he hasn't put the real cash spin on it. So let's see if he's going to put the cash spin on it. Let's do it one last time. <laughs> so. I'm gonna have you sign the back of the card as well. Okay. Just go ahead and do it like. Okay. Perfect. We're gonna do like we did just before. Your card. Yep, that's my card. Yes. Goes face up into the pack. And I'll show you one last time, just right before the yep. before it closes up. I'm gonna need you to imagine really hard this time all the details because it's gonna rise to the top, but you're gonna see the moment it happens. So I want you to just start picturing your card right there. Rising to the top? Yes, just like that. Five card. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's some cash magic. Guys, that's the cash spin, right? I talk of a flip, flipping. I'm not revealing methods here guys, but you see it, the cash spin. I got that from that weight, right? It's flipping. But yeah, I don't know if I'm correct or not. So let's hear Penn and Teller's verdict. Okay. That was so much fun. How long have you been a magician? Uh, I feel like I came out of the womb just doing magic, basically. <laughs> but if we're going to be serious about it, interested about the age of six, and it's just yeah. been there ever since. I mean, you were definitely born to do it. You've got, like, such a swagger about you. That totally gave me the chills. That blew my mind. Actually, I've got to ask you this kind of off topic, but I'm curious, for a guy like you that has so much charisma, do you use magic to, like... Yes. <laughs> she didn't have to say the whole thing, and he knew what he was, she was talking about. And I'm also guilty of that, guys. I think most entertainers are also guilty of that. We, it's not only magicians, guys, so you all understand. <laughs> No, I mean, like, everybody's got, like, a pocket full of one-liners. Like, do magicians actually use that sometimes in their favor to, you know? I'm going to be honest. I don't, I don't really care to do all that. <laughs> think, people think I do. Does it happen? Maybe, but... Um... Is this a big moment for you to be here with us tonight? Definitely. Definitely. And I thank you for all being here. I feel like this is a turning point for me in many ways. And this is just kind of like a, I think, a hard shift for me to be like, it's up now, like, we're going. Everything I've been trying to, like, do the past couple years is about to just, like, go crazy. Yeah! yeah. I love it. Yes! 
Okay, well, let's see if your cash magic has bought you a Fool Us trophy. Oh, Cash, you have got balls. <laughs> <laughs> to come out here and do an ambitious card after we've seen hundreds of ambitious card routines? Yeah. I mean, that is amazing. And you totally flipped us out. It is a wow. fabulous, <laughs> fabulous routine. We you can hear that Penn and Teller is talking. No, Penn. <laughs> Not Penn and Teller. Penn is talking in code, right? But he included the word flip, which I was, which I was talking about, right? That's the code, right, to unlock this whole routine, like the, the, the last part, actually. We just couldn't love you more. And you are one of the classiest magicians we've had on here. Just total class and style and honest and as sincere as a magician can possibly be while lying his ass off. It was just, uh, just fabulous. We just loved you in every way. We just thought it was great. And you know, we also love this show. We've been doing this show for over a decade and we, we just love doing it, bringing out magicians, seeing the best magicians in the world like you. It's been a great, great 10 years of our life. Fabulous. But there is a really bad part of our job. And this is the part of the job that absolutely sucks because this is where it becomes like professional wrestling. And clearly you are the face, you are the good guy, and clearly we are the heels, we are the bad guys. When I say the next thing, I will guarantee you the audience is going to boo us they're going to boo us and probably attack us because they love you, we love you, but we don't think you fooled us. <laughs> but we love you! You're the best! I love You're you great. guys. I love you guys. Cash, do they know how you did your trick? I think they got some of my trick and know what's going on. They're smart guys. Just fabulous. Thank you. Guys, I did say in the beginning that if he's going to perform an ambitious cut routine, chances are slim that he's going to fool Penn and Teller. Right? So but he was he was great, guys. He was great. He came up with some new ideas and he also gave me a few ideas to actually up my ambitious cut routine. So I thank him. I thank you for watching. And if you're not yet subscribed, why not? Please, it's free, right? Please subscribe while it's free because you might have to pay as time goes on. But uh, I'm kidding. I don't want to spread rumors that I... Guys, subscribe. That's it. And comment and share.